All right, guys. So this is my last tip, and I think this is very important. Get familiar with the phonetics. Phonetics are a key, especially especially if you have this strong accent and you have issues when you're speaking and people cannot understand you. This will help you a lot. Every language is different. Every language has different sounds. Every language has an alphabet. And each letter has different sounds in every language. So, I will give you some example, some examples. Okay. So my first one is when I live in Dubai. I mean, I'm not gonna say I try to to learn Arabic because I will be lying. But I experienced um, listening to people in Arabic, and I noticed there were a lot of sounds that were I was not able to pronounce. It was very hard for me. Because those sounds didn't exist in English, <clears throat> neither in English nor in Spanish, which is, which is my other language. But uh, this is the key if you want to pronounce words properly. So it will help you to 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 sound a little bit more natural. So, for example, another one. Um, I will use Spanish, right? Uh, since I'm fluent in Spanish as well, as well, and this is my uh, native language. Um, a lot of Spanish speakers tend to copy, use the sounds in Spanish uh, while they pronounce words in English. Um, and an example will be if you say "rose," right? So in English, the "r" sounds like and it's very subtle, very soft, right? That delicate sound, R. It comes from the back, R. But in Spanish, it's a little bit more tough, rough, right? Strong sound, like R. So you roll the R's, right? R, R. Or there is another one, there is da, right? But um, so Spanish, someone who speaks Spanish um, might use the sound and Spanish to pronounce the word in English. For example, the person will say rose, 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 right? Instead of rose, rose. Um, another one will be uh, maybe the, the letter Y. Uh, in Spanish, uh, the letter Y sounds like ja, ja, like when, you know, in English, the sound of the J. Um, so instead of saying you, they will say you, right? which is not right. And that's the problem right there. <laughs> so um, getting familiar with the phonetics will help you a lot uh, with fluency. So I think this is my last tip and um, I suggest to start practicing and, you know, um, getting familiar with all of them and then put it into practice and I'm sure you'll see the changes. <laughs> all right, guys, thank you so much for watching again. I hope my tips um, help you in becoming more fluent in the English language. And um, remember that everything also takes dedication, practice. That's very important. You need to put practice in everything um, and the willingness, right, um, to learn something new. Um, languages are beautiful. Um, and they all have something special. I'm in love with languages and, and I think they all have something magical. Um, and when you start learning a new language and you become more, more fluent and more confident, you, you start getting into a new world. Every language is like a different world. And when we start speaking, um, that new language, um, we see a total different world because remember language is attached. With, with culture. So I think that's magical. And um, practice, dedicate time, and love the language. That was like my first tip, right? So um, please, you know, post your comments below. Let me know what you think. Give me suggestions. I'm open to anything. Um, nobody's perfect. I try my best, <laughs> but um, I try my best to give you um, you know, the best I know and, and my experiences and, and everything that I know uh, to learn a second language. Um, 
I want to share with you and so you can use it. <laughs> um, so again, post your comments below, subscribe to my channel and like. Thank you. Bye-bye.